Good morning, Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your morning ag outlook for Thursday, September 19th. Uh, prices across the agricultural space were mostly lower overnight with the exception of bean oil coming in right now about 10 to 15 points uh, better. Corn is down uh, 2 to 3. Soybean price is down about 4 to 5 and have rebounded a couple cents off their lows. Meal is uh, steady to about a dollar lower while wheat prices are down uh, about 5 to 7 cents across all three classes uh, uh, this morning. Uh, as expected, the U.S. Federal Reserve did cut key lending rates 50 basis points uh, yesterday, their first cut in four years. The U.S. dollar initially broke to uh, about a 14-month low before uh, staging a late-date recovery. And uh, this morning, the uh, U.S. dollar has actually rebounded up a little bit. The uh, traders uh, seem to be discounting another 75 basis point uh, cut uh, in the Fed funds rate uh, over the next two FOM see meetings here before year end. These meetings take place uh, in November and in December. Uh, after a late day pullback yesterday in the equity markets, looks like we're going to be set for a, a, a higher open this morning with most indices looking about uh, a 1% uh, higher uh, on the day. <clears throat> we do get export sales later this morning with China returning from a mid-autumn holiday festival. Uh, we'll see if this uh, their return does bring some return to some fresh export news. Yesterday's EIA data did show ethanol production slip of 3% from the previous week to 1,049,000 barrels per day. However, that was still up uh, 4% from uh, previous year and just above the pace needed to reach the current USDA corn usage forecast. Uh, rains are expected to fill in across Nebraska and Kansas uh, over the next couple of days, pulling east across uh, Iowa, M Missouri, uh, southern uh, Minnesota, and into the Great Lakes region uh, by this upcoming weekend. Beyond uh, this rain event, however, conditions return uh, back to a warm, dry pattern as we finish up the month of September and turn the calendar over to October. Today's uh, U.S. drought monitor is likely to show further expansion of drought conditions across the nation's midsection. <clears throat> Rains will continue to be frequent across southern areas of Brazil uh, over the next uh, week or so with uh, uh, west central areas likely to remain dry here for about another week, uh, delaying hopes for an early start to the soybean planting season in, for this region. Uh, world weather continues to suggest uh, a more humid atmosphere uh, will develop and will generate better prospects for rain uh, by early October. Uh, nearby corn and soybean prices just seem to have found some uh, equilibrium here just above four dollars and uh, ten dollars respectively uh, over the next 30 to 60 days prices largely will be driven by u.s harvest uh, and south american weather will u.s production be able to reach the current usda projections uh, despite the hot dry finish or possibly even exceed those uh, will rains finally stretch north into central areas of brazil bringing uh, much needed relief from historically dry uh, pattern that currently exists. And longer term, will La Nina develop? And uh, what impact will that have on uh, global weather and uh, agricultural production? <clears throat> Wheat prices have backed off from last week's rally as tensions uh, in the Black Sea have cooled a bit this week. Uh, this as we, uh, we await fresh uh, USDA production numbers here at the end of September. Uh, both DEES uh, and Minneapolis December contracts uh, have tested key moving average support levels overnight, while key support for December Chicago rests uh, just above the 560 level. So mixed here, mostly lower overnight. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone, and have a great day.